Welcome back traders and in this video we're going to be going over my GoFest results and it was a little bit underwhelming. Now I don't go into the GoFest thinking I want to get as many shinies as possible. I go in thinking of realistic uh, I want to get this one shiny or that one shiny or whatever. Uh, not every single one and maybe just a handful. Well, I got a handful all right and as far as did I get what I want? Kind of. Uh, and we're going to talk about the Axie as well. I did warn you, you know, we're going to get a community day for that. So there is really no need to raid it as hard as possible to get the shiny, which I did as well. Uh, like I said, we'll talk about it. Let's go ahead and see what we have as far as the collection. Go over my shamans, IVs, and the whole catch scenario and sequence. And uh, give you more of my thoughts on what we uh, had going on here. So with that said, let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna take a look at every single Pokemon I caught. Shinies and maybe something else, a little surprise here at the end. We'll have to see what I got. Can't believe I go plus what I'm gonna show you, but we're gonna take a look at everything. So it's, <laughs> I'm gonna give you my thoughts here. So uh, did I have fun? Well, sure, it was, yeah, sure, you know, catching Pokemon. Uh, if I don't get the shiny, it doesn't break my mood. It doesn't bring my mood down. It kind of makes me a little disappointed, but I'm not going to get all frustrated with the game. I'm just going to keep playing and be like, okay, whatever. Um, I was looking for Shroomish. I was looking for Curablast and Shelmet. And of course, I wanted to shiny Axew. And the only reason why I raided as many as I did is because I just wanted to have one so I can lucky trade. And that's all. And it took me 65 raids to do so. My first shiny of the day was going to be this Metatite here. I guess it has PvP IVs for a shiny, had a ton of shinies already, have an XL meta jam. All right, let's keep it moving here. You can see everything else I caught in between. A lot of this, most of this is go plus, okay? Um, so let's see what my next shiny is. And I played the entire day. Go plus going the entire time. Uh, incense going the entire time, moving the entire time, except for eating. Next shiny is gonna be a clink. Didn't have this one, needed it, sure. We'll take it, no problem. Let's see what we're gonna see next. A P Dove, okay. Ready, all right, all right, all right. Had one already. Let's keep it moving. What else? Oh, a 10 CP Burmy trash, trash. Can I say it again, trash. All right, it's moving on. Those are the shinies that I've gotten so far. This is about two and a half, three hours in. I'm not even joking. All right, so we've got about three shinies here. Oh, Lit Leo, I needed that one, okay. Um, sure. I'm happy about it. Okay, cool. New shiny, no problem. All right, all right, four hours in. Shroomish, go plus it. Go plus all of these. I didn't tap on a single one. I was tapping on a lot of Pokemon, but none of them were shiny for me. This, I go plus. I wanted this. If I didn't get this, all right, okay, I would have probably been a little disappointed. Next shiny, a Pikachu. All right, yeah, now look, I, I don't, hey, whatever. Whatever, it's got the flowers, man. Let's go, let's go double flowers on it, folks. All right, taking a look at other things here. Now, you know, we also have Torkoal and Tropius spawning, which is nice. And there you go, finally got it. $65 deep into the raids. Wow, I can't believe I went like that. That's pathetic. Lucky trade turned out to be a 13-13-12. Yeah, it stings a little bit there, but I'm not going to be powering it up. I just wanted the shiny hack source. I already have one in Master League, which I do not plan to make XL. I'm going to wait for its community day whenever that is. Okay, so that doesn't really count because I paid for it. Remember when we paid or $12 for the uh, Mr. Rhyme? <laughs> okay, let's keep it moving here. Oh, a Sveal. Okay, that was going to be my next one. And after that, another Sveal. Literally 30 seconds later. I was pretty upset about that there. All right, all right. So I know I said I wasn't going to get upset, but that did make me annoyed. And a Grimer, which I had now. The tasks were fun. The routes, the everything, good. For the price, for what you're paying, whatever, right? It's not like they need to orchestrate some big old elaborate uh, show for you for the price that you did throw down for this ticket here. The tasks, fine. Nice, you know, complete them, you get items, no problem. The spawns, on the other hand, we got a little issue here, folks. That's all I got? Are you, for the entire time, that's all I got? Are you kidding me? 
that's unacceptable. We got a Hitmonchan uh, also that we did not to mention at the end there with, with okay IVs. I had a lucky trade one already uh, from in the past. So another shiny Hitmonchan, I'll take it. I'm a Hitmonchan fan. The spawns, we're going to go over those. There were the the uh, Snow Habitat Tundra garbage. D did not like it at all. Um, I was just waiting for it to be over, and I just really could not stand it. I know there are probably some Pokemon in there that a lot of people were looking forward to and enjoying. Personally, for me, didn't like it. Didn't like it at all. All right. So as you can see here, not looking great. But we do have something here we're going to look at. So we're just going to pull up all the other kind of... We're not going to compare every shiny that I got to see how many I do have. But just so you can see, eh, decent IVs. I didn't see where that lands, but uh, it's looking like something. But we already have an XL. So I don't know if I'll be making another one just because it's shiny. But we did get a Go Plus 100% Torkoal. Okay, does that make up for the event? This is a pretty far out regional. So I would say, yeah, I guess we came out with something. I wouldn't say a make up for it, but it came out with something here. The Axew, we paid for it. We did get the Shroomish. Did I have a good time? I was out there grinding. Yeah, I would have liked to... I did go out and I walked for like two hours and that was very nice, but there were no stops. I'm going to give you a visual of what it looked like in a minute here. And we're also going to be transferring every Pokemon except for the Shinies and Tropius and Panchams, excluding those. So let's see, we've got 900 plus that we're going to transfer. I was thinking the game was going to get stuck and frozen here for a second, but it actually transferred quite quick compared to like 300 transfers that I've done before. So there they go. Goodbye. I could have waited for a day where we had the double candy transfer, but no thanks. That's all too many. I'm just going to get rid of them. So um, this is the result of my GoFest. We have Tropius. We have Axew that I raided. A uh, few in the wild. Very few. Pan Chams from the wild. Okay. And Tropius with the IVs potentially for PvP. I haven't gone over them. So And a lot of Stardust that I, I collected. There was no like special. You know, here's some Stardust. So there you go. Now let's go ahead and take a look at encountering the Shaman here. This is going to happen once you've completed your tasks. And I almost didn't finish the excellent throw one. I was like, just slacking, not even trying. Just, it was so hot. I was walking at towards the end. And if I wasn't walking, I was driving. So I was just kind of throwing. So here we are. It's going to be your typical throw three balls. And then it'll catch it on the third one. And it doesn't move around. It just kind of sits there. <laughs> yeah, and that's fine. I mean, it's a little plant Shaman thing. It's being friendly so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and uh, catch that here and then see what the ivs look like it does have an exclusive move and i do miss the last ball that, that was unintentional like i said i'm walking around with athena maybe holding the lead so it's kind of like uh, you know i got this little tension but anyways here we go registered it and shaman is going to be looking bad ivs it does have a special move seed flare it's going to be a lot of energy it's going to do a lot of damage though but uh, as far as usability, you know, everything could do something. <laughs> Meta? No, not at all. I have Hidden Power, Steel. So, at least we're super effective to Ice. We got our pose with the the uh, the Bride's pose <laughs> or something. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to show you what it looks like where I was walking around completely plain. Submitted some stops. It was only been a couple of days. We'll have to wait. Fra favorite biome is going to probably be the... Um... Rainforest, the Carablast, I wanted that shiny. I wanted the Shelmet shiny. I did not get any of those shiny. <laughs> I didn't get any of those. I wanted those. I didn't get them. Uh, let's see. What else? Uh, I like the Hitmonchan spawns. Didn't care about the shiny. Just wanted those candies. So I enjoyed that. Everything else in those spawns. You get the uh, Trubbish that gives you extra Stardust. I suppose that's going to be pretty nice as well. But uh, otherwise, you know, I really didn't care for the other biomes. Uh, the Plains, just the Shelmet, the Rainforest for the Rallet Candies, for the Shelmet. I wasn't getting shiny, so it was just kind of like... And I thought Venipi wasn't shiny. Apparently, it was really shiny, and I didn't even know because this was before, and I wasn't paying attention to it. So, yee! <laughs> I was riding around with somebody. I didn't tell. They're like, is this shiny? I was like, nah, it's not. <laughs> oh my gosh. Later, they looked it up. They're like, hey, uh, it's shiny. <laughs> Whoops. But I don't know. As, as far as this event, all in all, how did I like it? Um, For the price, 
you know, I got my money's worth. There's an event that you can play for for several hours where you got different biomes with different Pokemon spawning with the potential shiny. The shiny rate was garbage, though. That that That's what, let's get it out in the open, the elephant in the room. Shiny rate was garbage. You know, we're not asking to hand out a shiny every four or five Pokemon, seven Pokemon, 20, but at least something. I didn't get my first shiny for like an hour to an hour and 45 minutes into the event. It was crazy. Um... So maybe increase that next time. As far as the Pokemon spawns, you know, whatever Niantic, you know, they do this kind of weird stuff. They throw in some wacky Pokemon for whatever reason. Some of these are good. Some of these are bad. Some of these are useless. Some of these are just completely and utterly a waste of a space that could have been something more fun and exciting that we could have been clicking on in the wild. Like uh, Slackoth. Like, I mean, Rick, like it's a fun shiny to look at, but it's an absolute, well, we got Vigoroth, I guess. Okay, I take it back. But as far as I've seen, I went on the Twitter universe to look around and people are not too happy. They said their spawn rates for shinies were low. Now, Twitter is usually a place where you're going to see an excessive amount of, uh, let's just put it, let's say uh, people voicing their opinions loudly. Uh, all right. And they, it, it, I, I experienced it too, right? I, you know, not just me. I had somebody sitting next to me uh, and well, she got all the shinies, man. I'm like, well, shit, you get all the shiny, all the good ones. It's because you're taking my shiny look. <laughs> so I guess, you know, somebody got something good. But as far as everybody else, I guess the, we're the ones who are the ones he didn't get the good shiny. So we're like, this event sucked. <laughs> well, everybody else is like, huh? What are you talking about? I got like 30 shinies. I got everything I wanted. Doubles. Uh, I got a shiny Axio on my fourth raid. Uh, we're looking good. I mean, we're looking great. And then we just look over at them like, yeah, shut up. <laughs> but we're just catching this new uh, Ultra Beast here. We're going to be going over that in another video. So look forward to that. And it should be exciting. We're just trying to... This is my first one encounter here. First first one. And I got my excellent throw in the first uh, throw that I ever did on it. Now we're missing it, of course. Now go figure. We're going to catch it after we hit excellent throw after excellent throw. We're going to get it outside the ring. And in closing here, folks, I know some of you may not agree with me on this, but I feel like they should separate the whole rating from GoFest. Uh, I don't know. It's taken away from the experience. If I go to a raid, I can't tap. If I miss the raid, then the people see that I'm ignoring them. Then they're going to stop sending me raid invites, which I appreciate all the raid invites awesome and let's keep it going but i want to completely and fully go fully tap but i guess that's not their problem i don't have to accept the raid invites right exactly so yeah but i, th I think some of you see where i'm coming from if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up all in all this go fest it was okay thank you for watching and take care